Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a special guest. What is your first yeah. name? Your first name is Jack. Jack is going to be doing his math lesson today, like we normally would anyway. And I thought it would be good to film it so you can see what it's like to do a lesson in math with confidence grade three. All right, so if you haven't seen this before, I have done flip through videos and like an overview of this. Um, I've got the teacher's guide here, which this is like part one. I bound it in two parts and same with the workbook. Found them in two parts so they were just like less cumbersome. So we're up to lesson 2.5 I think today. So these are laid out in units. So we're in the second unit and we're up to lesson five. So we're just gonna get stuck in. Jack has already done the most of the review portion of his lesson today. So there's three parts in his workbook. There is the lesson por portion, the lesson, lesson activities, oh my goodness, I can't talk, lesson activities, and then there's the practice questions, and then there's the review. So we'll work on the lesson activities now, and then whatever's left over that he can do it on his own, I will get him to do it on his own. So the first thing we do in this lesson is this little gray box here is full of what we're going to need to do today, what we're going to, like the materials we'll need, which are base 10 blocks, I've got these ones here, um, some playing cards, which I've got here, and encounters, which I've got like this thing that I keep all of our manipulatives and stuff in, so I'll we'll just grab some counters out of there. Counters on that side. Well, I don't know if we're going to use these ones or these ones. We'll see. We'll use one <clears throat> Okay, so first of all, we're going to do the memory work. So memory work is stuff that we just go over every time. Um, Jack, if a number has one, three, five, seven, or nine in the ones place, is the number even or odd? Okay, listen, say that again. If a number has one, three, five, seven, or nine in the ones place, is the number even or odd? Uh, odd. Yeah. If a number has zero, two, four, six, or eight in the ones even. place, it's even. Good. Okay. What is two times two? Two times two is four. Five times two? Five times two. Mm, ten? Eight times two? What are two eights? Eight plus eight, imagine that. Uh, 16? Yep, 10 times two. 10 times two, 20? Yep, one times two. One times two. Two? Nine times two? What's nine plus nine? It's just double nine. Yeah, four times two. Four times <coughs> two, that is eight. Three times two? Three times two is six. Seven times two. Um, pretty sure that is fourteen. Six times two. I'm pretty sure that's twelve. Yeah. Okay. So that was part of the warm up activities, um, and you don't always have to do this. If your child has mastered these, then you can move on. But we've just started doing the times tables. Yeah. Um. Well, now why zero is an even number because there's nothing. Yeah. Okay, today you'll use what you know about place value to find answers to the times 10 facts. Okay, so let's <laughs> open these up. All right, have a look here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 40. Are you listening to mommy? Yes. No talking, listening now, okay? Four times 10 means four groups of 10. Yes. Sir. What do four tens mean? 40. Four groups of 10. Okay. So what do four tens equal? Four tens equals 40. So what's four times 10? Four times 10 is 40. Yeah, very good. So you're gonna write that here. Have a look here, where's your pen? Okay. So stop playing with that for a second, please. Okay. So this part of the lesson, you're working along in here. So you're doing this page as you're teaching the lesson. So we're gonna Right down there, see it said four times 10? So you're gonna write 40 in there. Yeah. And four tens equal 40. Okay, yeah. so now I want you to see if you can figure out these. You can use these if you need to. What are six tens? If four tens were 40, what would six tens be? Yeah, so write that in. Okay, three tens must be 30. Remember to put your zero. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I'll just put zero zeros in all of them because they're all going to be zero. Okay, good idea. But make sure ten you... times ten. What do you think that's going to be? What's the answer? One hundred. One hundred. Well, well done. One thousand. Okay, do the next bit. Eight times ten equals. 80. Yep. 9 times 10 equals 90. Mm -hmm. 7 times 10 equals 70. Very good. What pattern do you notice about all the answers? They all equal a big, a bigger number than 10. Yeah, but what else? They're what else is the same about all of them? They're all pairs of 10. Look at the actual numbers. What's the same about all of them? They all have zeros. They all have zero in the and ones place. And they all have pairs of 10 in them. Well, they have 10s because we're a times it by 10. Yep. Pairs of 10. Okay, so we're going to play a game now. But 10 times tables are quite easy. Yes, their 10s times tables are quite easy. Okay, so we've got playing cards and we want to take out the 10s, jacks, queens, and Why do you kings. Take out the jacks? 10 counters of two different colors. Do you, do you want to pick out 10 of two different colors in there? Name. Right. Okay. Is it first to get? I don't know yet. So three, gonna... to get three. I haven't read the instructions three. yet. <clears throat> Six. Eight. Eight. Okay, so while Jack's getting those out for us. Mm. These are actually left over from the old Good and the Beautiful mat. Works really well. Um, everything you need for the games is written in here, all your instructions. So I just quickly read these instructions. I haven't done any prep ahead of time. I just grabbed, like I knew what we would need, like do the math manipulatives that we need at the beginning of the course. But aside from that, I just, every day I pick up what we need and go. So um, we're gonna play Tic-Tac-Toe Crash times 10. So we needed Playing you cards. Three, you need three in a row. Yes, we need playing cards, um, and we needed our ten different counters, each with a different color. And then it says the object of the game is to be the first player to fill three boxes in a row, either horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. Shuffle the cards and place the stack face down on the table. On your turn, flip over the top card. Multiply the number on the card by ten. Say the matching multiplication fact and place one of your counters on the box that matches the product. For example, if you draw 9, say 9 times 10 equals 90, okay, and place a counter on the box with 90. If the other player already has a counter on the square, you may crash into their counter, remove it, and place your own counter on the square. Play, then passes to the other player. Continue until one player has completed an entire row, column, or diagonal. Oh, okay, so I'm going to shuffle these. I like how the board's smooth, so it's easy to win. <laughs> Okay, we'll see how easy, hey? You want to go first or me? Me. Okay, so you got two. So 10 times two equals oh, what? 10 times two equals 20. Yep, well done. I got 10 times five equals 50. You got 10 times one. 10 times one, isn't that 10? Yep. I got 10 times three equals 30. You got 10 times 7. Equals 70. Yep. I got 10 times 6 equals 60. You got 10 times 5 equals? 10. I already have one. What is 10 times 5 equal? No, not 10, not 5 times 2. 10 50? times 5. 50. Yep, where's 50? Yay. Okay, give me my counter back. All right, and I got ah, 10 times 50 <laughs> as well. Okay. 10 times 5, I mean. If I, if I get a 10 times 50, <clears> I'll... All right, you got 10 times 8. Uh, 80. 80, yep. 10 times 3 is 30. Who's on 30? I think it must be me already. Okay, your turn. 10 times 4. 40, well done. Tic-tac-toe, you won. No, we try. One time. One more time, okay? One more time. Well done. That was so short. It was short. I know, but we can play it again. They'll probably play it again tomorrow. Here, yeah, we've yeah. got a little bit more left in your lesson to do. Well, and I have all my independent work. Yeah. And do. then I have my language arts. 
Yes, but we're doing math right now. All right, well done. In second grade, so in the last book, yep. you learn to write addition and subtraction problems horizontally or vertically. You remember, like that's horizontally, but vertically is like that? Yeah. Okay, you, we can write multiplication equations horizontally or vertically too. So have a look here, okay? When you write an answer for a vertical multiplication problem, write the tens place for the product directly below the tens place for the factors. What? Right? Mm -hmm. So ones place, be tens zero? place. We'll get there. Two yeah, we'll get there. Hang zeros on. Equals zero. Zero twos equals zero. What is ten times two? Ten times two equals twenty. Yes. So you're going to write. 20, but where's the two is in the tens place, right? So it goes there, and then the zero is in the ones place. Yep, very good. So we go left to one, right. That's just a quick one because that would equal zero, and then you put that, that would equal two. Yes, well done. When you write an answer for a vertical, oh sorry, I already wrote that. Blah, blah. <clears throat> we read vertical multiplication problems from top to bottom, okay? We say equals when we get to the line that separates the problem from the answer. This problem says, 10 times 2 equals 20. Okay, can you do this one? So what is that? 10 times, times, times no, 10 times, 10, 10 times 5 equals 50. 50. Yep. Yeah, I need 50. Okay, this one? Oh, 10 times 1 equals 0. I mean 10. Equals 10, <laughs> yeah. Okay, zero. do this one. Is it possible 50 equals 0? 10 times 7 equals 70. Yeah, and then this one? Like that's what about this one? 10 times 10 equals 1, 0, 0. 100, well done. So that concludes the lesson part of the lesson, I guess, the teaching part of the lesson. Um, so I don't need to teach anymore. Now Jack's gonna go and do this page, and he should be able to do this page on his own, but Sometimes your kid might need help. So it's just practicing what they've just been taught. So he's got that page to do. And then he had done most of his independent review page, but he needed a little bit of help with some of the problems. So I'm gonna work on that with him. Um, but that is a lesson in grade three from Math with Confidence. We're really, really enjoying it. Do you like this math? Uh, it's you like, like the game? It's way easier than, no than normal plus like if you did, 10 plus oh one you mean year. multiplication yeah yeah multiplication is way easier than okay. plus but like do you like this math curriculum you enjoy two. your math don't you yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah so anyway any questions for us leave them down in the comments below um but i think i've covered most of the things so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video yeah, bye we'll bye see you in the next video <laughs> what if the world had more of your smile what if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach every